When Blake and Katie first started dating, uh, I was a little skeptical of his long hair and his Cali attitude. Um, but you know, as you get to know him, you find him to be a big blonde man with an even bigger heart. I've watched the ways that you've looked for the positive and always embraced and immersed yourself in every opportunity. Enjoy each other's company and look for the fun in even the smallest of things. Catherine Elizabeth Perovich. Right now I can only imagine how beautiful you look. Your strength, your warmth, your tenderness to those you love, your addicting smile with a little side chuckle and shoulder bounce. Along with your amazing lyrical ability to sing, any song you hear makes me love you so much. But the love that I have for you cannot be defined by the words that I say or these words that I write. Since the day I met you, I have always thought your heart was the prettiest thing I had ever seen before. And it's only become more beautiful each and every day that I'm with you. There are so many more things that go along with that heart of yours. I choose you now. I choose you forever, over and over again, without a pause and without a doubt in a heartbeat. I promise to see you with the same eyes and the same heart that I have for you now in this exact moment. I promise to love you passionately, fiercely, unconditionally for the rest of my life. I promise to grow with you and build a better life each and every day together as we learn from each other. I promise to cherish every day with you because each day I'm with you is the greatest gift I could ever receive. I vow to continue to pursue you with a passion that will bring the world to its knees. I vow to show our future children what a great marriage looks like and to give you a marriage that you are proud of. I vow to put you forward and to protect you as well as provide for you until my last day. Thank you so much for being my rocket, but most importantly, Thank you for being you. Let's remember to take a step back today and enjoy this moment in time, because today is our day, a day that we will remember and talk about for the rest of our lives. Love be XOXO. Today I commit my life to you as your wife. You are the love of my life, Blake, and I promise to let you know that every day. I promise to take care of you, love you, and appreciate you. I vow to listen to you and learn from you. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you, and I vow to value our differences just as much as our common ground. I vow to put all my effort into strengthening our marriage and give you the best version of myself. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, to comfort you in times of sorrow and in struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when life seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you, challenge you, and always hold you in the highest regard. I give you my deepest love and devotions. I open my heart to you as a sanctuary of warmth and peace where you may find love and strength. I will support you in heartache and celebrate with you in joy. Today I pledge my love to you. May my heart be your shelter and my arms be your home. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life. With greatest love and excitement, your future wife. For the past 100 days, I've been writing letters to you, one letter for each and every single day. Excitement, anxiety, worry, happiness, stress, love, and yearning lie within each page and make up the moments leading up to this very day and to this very special moment. May this be a reminder of just how much I love you and how blessed I feel to be earning the title of your wife. May we be blessed in life's future moments and milestones as we have been in these past four years. I love you.
I, Blake, take you, Katie, to be my wife. I, Katie, take you, Blake, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. And in sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. But before you do, just want to take a moment to present for the very first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Blake and Katie Pedersen Perovich. Pleasure of introducing for the first time to this floor, Mr. and Mrs. Blake and Katie Pedersen. What a great group of guys, Blake, and, and uh, you know I think uh, uh, Mance's uh, character really is, is spoken by his friends, who he's got. So this is what a great group of guys that you've got here. So thank you, all of you, for being here. In the 90s growing up, Katie always made me star in all of her plays. She had all these little, these, and she had all these little movies that I had to be the gingerbread man, or I had to be Peter Pan, or, uh, but today is the grandest play of all, and I really appreciate you letting me be a part of this, both of you. They say that relationships are hard work, but in my experience, it's effortless with Katie. He is so selfless, and he puts others before himself. He's so easy to talk to, and I, when I was talking to him that night, I felt like I had known him forever. Katie was so happy, and, when, and the way that she looked at him that night, I just knew that he was the one for her. I've honestly never seen Blake love and care for someone as much as he has for you. Uh, so thank God for you. <laughs> and then the biggest thank you just to this beautiful lady of mine. You are the perfect thing I've ever thought about. And I can't wait for the years to come that I can call you my beautiful bride and the mother of my children. So thank you, Katie. I love you.